Just remember to swap my weapons around this time so I don't use all my rockets. They're offering me a crewmate, and I'm exactly one point short. Well, not that I'd buy a slave, I guess. I think there's a chance they'll offer a slave anyway. Uh, hi, Bjorn. Sure. Look over the shields, I guess. Just because the shields are kind of central, so you can maybe go. F now that the mantises are mostly just good at combat. fast, which means I can't hit anything else. I suppose if I alternate targets, it keeps their repairmen moving around, which delays them a bit. No, I can't see them. Hey, thank you, Outpost. Use the fuel, for sure. Uh, there's a store. It's an awkward time for a store, because most of the good items cost, like, 75 on the dot. Let's see what they've got. Um, I guess the weapons are fairly cheap. I don't think I need any of those things. Healing Burst, that's an interesting item. Halibur is pretty good. Um, it would take a lot of time to implement that, scrap-wise. But we do need a weapon for sure. Take a lot of scrap to get that online, though. Uh, Federation ship of the Nebula? Follow them for sure. Uh, let's see. We have a defense drone, so we're not going to be doing any rockets. Unless we take out the drone. Yeah, they're gun first. Pretty weak offer, sir. That's not much better. Okay, they got 
two different guns. Got that fire buddy let's see so it costs i guess it costs him an average of about 25 health to take out a fire Did I just move into a dead end? It did. Oh man, these dead ends. Second one in a row that got me. Oh man, that's still engulfed too. Ugh, sector one dead ends, man. Wait, it did three damage to the weapons? Oh, I don't want to do Mantis repairs. Choice, I guess. Let's have my hull in one encounter. I wish there was some kind of script that would just have everybody repair and heal when you're out of danger like this. Uh, take a bit of mercenary work, sure. Thank you. 
Uh, let them live in return to the settlement, sure. <laughs> Ooh, second burst laser. Now that is a good item. That means that we have a lot of good guns. We just can't bring them online yet. In fact, this is a this is a very good set of guns. Um, it's just going to be a long time before we can. Uh, we will never surrender our crew. Uh, take one of our slaves as tribute. Uh, that's probably a good deal. Yeah. Uh, hello, Mikhail. Any other skills? You don't. Yaz has a little bit of editing skill. I do kind of like the idea of having a rock pilot, though, because uh, helm fires have been a major problem. So. Getting really good weapons and five crew in the first sector is pretty good, but um, we're extremely far behind on scrap. Uh, a drone part for fuel. Okay, so how much would I need to get, like, one more weapon? 55, we could do it. Um, I'm extremely nervous about going into the next sector with only one shield. But um, maybe if we just have a really nice front-loaded attack. Let's see. Uh, we're running out of missiles anyway, so we need to find some kind of non-Artemis solution. A little bit low on everything. I'm a bit nervous about it. Uh, a rock system or an uncharted map? Um, I don't like the rock systems because if you run into hostile rocks, they seem to be very fond of missiles and bombs, and I don't really have any answer to those. good part about the nebula is that we get generally get to have a lot of encounters uh, trade two missiles for two drone parts no It's a bad trade, and I'm annoyed at the, the wasted encounter. It's... Ooh, more hires. Uh... How can you measure these human lives in scrap? A Mantis Interceptor. Do they, now, do they have a teleporter? I don't think they do. It's good. All right. Other weapons are offline. And since they're mantises, I think it takes them quite a while to repair those. Ooh, 
good. We're getting bigger scrap. I guess I think the scrap just gets multiplied by the the sector in some way. So it's just the, the overall toughness of the ship. We need fuel though. Uh, pirates. Um, now. I think that weapon can be a good deal, but I'm I'm pretty satisfied with my weapons. When I use more scrap, and since I need scrap, I kill the ship. Right? Uh, they are hacking my engines. Okay, that's exciting. Trying to escape, uh, not with a broken hull, they aren't. Okay, so I desperately need shield number three. I also need a shop to repair and get fuel and stuff. Uh, how much does shield three get cost? It's gonna be 50 plus uh, 45, so 95. 95 scrap, that's not so far away, is it? Can I back? track just a little bit here to get one more node. Wow, a ruined space station, just like that. Well, there's my 95 scrap. Okay, that's a lot more security. Um, what's the next priority then? Maybe some evasion? I'd love to... If I could bring that halberd beam online, then I could probably annihilate anything in the game. But um, that's going to be... Um, it would be nice to have a different explosive weapon and a different drone weapon. Or maybe I could just skip the explosives altogether because... 2 plus 2 plus 3 is already a, a level 7 weapon skill, which is a pretty hefty investment. A rock transport. Um... Whatever life form you are, we find you repugnant. We seek no aid. Leave now. A uh, rock crew member offered to lead them out of the nebula. The rock grudgingly transfer control of their helm to you, and you steer them to a thinner part of the nebula. They're not sure what to think. The transfer over some supplies all the same. <sighs> hey, lucky. I really could use all of that stuff. Uh, a rebel automated, yeah. Okay. We've only got the one shield. Um, let's get rid of this drone. It's gonna sap our shield, something fierce. Now, I think the auto drones they tend to repair pretty slow. <sighs> wow! It's just raining weapons. Alright, the station is a storage site for military grade weaponry. Find one that could be attached to the ship. So we've got a huge selection of weapons now. It's just the, which ones do we want to activate? 
Now, I think the, the burst lasers are good at dropping shields and the ion blast is good at dropping shields, so maybe we don't need all of them together. Although this thing has this thing is incredibly fast. Four second charge. So we could really wreck someone's shields that way, in fact. Mm, it's 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 the same power cost as the beam. But I like the idea of ioning the enemy's shields because then they, uh, uh, the ion is temporary, but it can't be repaired. Once the ion sticks, the crew and the enemy crew can't do anything. Ponder both of them. That's well, really great. The idea of a of a four second weapon versus a seventeen second. So let's work towards the ion. I think that could be really good. That would be a humongous amount of scrap. Okay, this exit only has a few approaches, so we gotta be careful. More rebel auto scouts. Kind of okay with this. Ooh, they're cloaking and also. <laughs> Story, it's pizza day for Story Raider. All right, bring it up for the whole channel. We'll see you soon. Um, this is kind of a bad spot to be in, though. They've got missiles that they're charging right out of the gate. Let's make sure that they don't have any weapons. Eep. Door guy, you get to go fix that. I wonder if they're going to be able to cloak again. I hope not. Uh, they totally cloaked again. Alright, in that case, don't fire. Well, I guess they can't fire anyway because they wouldn't be charging. Oh, they cloaked. They cloaked in order to uh, escape. Well, that's cheap. There's absolutely nothing I could have done about that. Um, we got a store and an exit. Let's see. I don't really have that many jumps left, and this exit can only be approached. I think we could maybe do this, this, that. Although, honestly, I'm not sure what I need from this store. Okay, so we can definitely get them both because these are all nebula jumps. I could probably use fuel from this. Definitely repair here too. In fact, that's probably just fine. Goes back to green. Um, I'm wondering if I can start upgrading my evasion a bit now that we've seen the store. Next one would be like. Yeah, that's 95. That's a good deal.
That's us up to 30 evasion and 75% uh, faster escapes if we need. But now we need to start saving scrap for the weapon system, because I'd love to have that ion online. Uh, eat the Federation ship. Trouble fighter! Uh, my weapons are just a little bit slow on the draw, though. It'd be wonderful to um, have something slightly faster or just get some more weapon skill. <laughs> Ooh, fires, you say? Have fun repairing that, buddy. Uh, extra fuel. Contact the Federation ship. We try to rescue the crew. <gasps> Despite your efforts, the majority do not survive. The sole survivor offers to join your crew and helps you strip the now derelict ship of its useful components. Oh, hi, Lysander. <gasps> Is that a slug? I think slugs are my favorite. What a funny name. It's Lysander with a period. <clears throat> Alright, well, six crew and good weapons in stock, two. And We're probably okay for the next sector, but we really need to get this next weapon up. But I'll pause. Uh, how do we even begin to estimate the cost of it? Can it be. It's going to be about 300. Maybe about 300, but once it's there, I think it's going to be pretty. Examine the station. Hmm. A bit of scrap. Um, the Zoltan homeworld. And in sector. Well, we don't really need shops, and I think it's I think the green zones have more shops. Necessarily need them, so let's this red sector. Uh, the Lanius are responsible. I don't know if I've seen them before. What's that? Wow, stores right here. Well, oddly, I don't really need stores. I need to scrap. Uh, this exit has only a few approaches, so I need to keep an eye on that. Uh, the store might not be a bad idea to just get extra fuel and maybe a bit of repairs. Oh, mind control system would be really good too. Really use a, a love to have a hack system or a mind control. Good stuff here, but um... <coughs> I would really like to finish off my weapon system. Uh, 
Uh, the wait, the rockmen are being mined by the Lanius. That's really brutal. All right, activate ship. Ooh, they've only got one shield. Okay, but they do have rockets. I need to get a cloak pretty soon too. Ship explodes leaving behind you. Okay. okay, good. Fuel, scrap, and a healing burst. Contact the Rockmen. The Rockmen give an awkwardly translated message that seems to indicate something about gratitude, and they jump away without another word. Hmm. Thanks, jerks. Now, this healing burst thing. Um, it's actually. You know what? I'm not really using my. Artemis. Maybe I'll just keep that in as an option. I'm not going to power it up anytime soon. A Rebel Disruptor? Tomato too, that's intriguing. Let's make let's keep this fight nice and short then. They still only have the one shield. Uh take these and leave us to our leave us to our shame. They caused any lasting damage there. I'm, I'm glad I'm getting fuel drops. There's sometimes where you can do a whole lot of combat in a row. Not get any fuel drops. Um, the rebel fleet's not moving too fast, even though there's no nebula here. Let's just make sure I leave a path to the exit. This exit does not. Minerals. Attack the vessel. It is a little bit weird that I don't have any use for my drone pieces yet. I'd like to get a hack at some point. Investigate the debris. <gasps> oh, excellent. The debris field had 40. Okay, so yeah, I think the, the going to the red sectors generally has just more, more available. So we're getting awfully close to that 300 mark now where I might be able to bring my third weapon online. That might be hasty as I'm cutting myself off from folks and mind controls and hacks and things, but it's time to get I think having a really strong weapon set is worth it. Rebel Invader! Okay. Oh, did my... Mort. Oh, he gained some weapon skill. That's why these are shorter. This is fantastic. Okay. Good job, Mort. Uh, 
they're trying to escape. Um, they're offering a hell of a lot of fuel. Hmm. Mm, and I could really use scrap. Um, I'm starting to wonder if maybe having... Uh, okay, that's about this. That's similar to what I had. Okay, I'm starting to see that the having the mantis repairing my shields is not so great. This guy doesn't have any shield skill, but he good. Oh, I gained some engineering skill too. That's pretty cool. Alright, so far this this abandoned sector is a big win. Well Massey's back! Massey and eight friends! Hello, hello! Welcome folks. What's up? Thanks so much for the read, <laughs> Fluffy Mamas. <laughs> hello, hello, welcome on Happy Tuesday. Oh man, all sorts of friends. <laughs> I appreciate support and encouragement. We are just uh, getting blown out in space. I uh, had two really rough runs, but we're on a third one now. It's going a little bit more smooth. <gasps> Whoa, free box of supplies. Uh, are we here because folks are familiar with and fond of FTL? I'm still an extreme novice myself, but I'm trying to learn. Uh, we want to squeeze in as many of these encounters as possible, right? These are This whole sector is pretty profitable. Space aliens. Yeah, some of them are good guys, too. Uh, explore the asteroid field. Scans reveal a number of asteroids with useful compositions. You extract fuel. Wow, that's not what I was expecting at all. Exploring, if you explore things just randomly, you tend to get yourself killed so quickly. <laughs> I'm a cool guy and Pocky is fond of me. Well, that is a, that's an extremely touching commendation because Pocky's pretty cool. He is a uh, high quality human. Maximum extortion. Yep. Uh, a human civilian ship is preparing to leave the sector. They message you. We're getting out of here. There was some cult rambling about the spreading of disease. Humanitis. They forcefully boarded our ship and tried to open all of our airlocks, shouting, Be purged! Is nowhere safe anymore. Well, I mean, to be fair, humans are kind of a disease. Ooh, this is kind of awkward. I don't think I can actually do this before. Grabs us. <laughs> I hate Pocky. <laughs> uh, I forget, Pocky. Did you say that you played FTL before? I, I know I'm like eight years late to the party. <gasps> a pirate fighter! <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, there is a, a a whole collection of battle helmets that your, your friendly neighborhood streamer wears. If you have channel points, you can switch it for one of five options. It did a little bit, yeah. I think this, this game is not very kind to beginners. And I'm a beginner, so it is very unkind to me. Okay, so we got a pirate fighter, and they've got super shields. This is kind of bad. We might have to power up our missile. Or no, we don't even have that available. Okay. Okay, get these. I think it's going to negate five shots, which gives them free reign for quite a long time. I'm a little bit worried about this. There's a guinea pig last time. Yep, that's that's probably probably accurate. Okay, their, their fancy shield is gone, and so they're back to using the dollar store shields. So let's try knocking out their beam again. Charge faster. Okay, there we go. Yep, have fun repairing that, Mr. Slug. Hey, <laughs> 
I can try to repair all that stuff. They have such a small crew, they can't repair their equipment very fast. Uh, your ship is surprisingly well equipped. Please take this and let us live. Um, they're offering six fuel, which is generally a lot of fuel, but I'm doing okay on fuel right now, so I might press the advantage and not accept. Choke and die forever. Okay. Um, ooh. And they drop fuel anyway. Okay, so now I've got the 310 scrap. Scrap is kind of like your experience points and your money in this game. And I picked up this fancy third gun, and I'd like to get enough equipment to bring it online. So let's, let's do the math. It's 50 plus 75 plus 90. That's going to be 215. And then two more. Oh, no, three of these. I think I can do it. Boom. Boom. There we go, an Ion Blast 2. This thing is super fast, and it can disable shields for quite a long time, as long as I'm hitting consistently, so. Uh, my defense is still pretty low, but... Um, if you get enough offense, you don't need defense. You blow them out of the water before they attack. Uh, there's two ships, one chasing the other. Scanners show the pursuer is a pirate! Aid the civilian ship! Engage the pirate ship in matrimony. Okay, so cool part about this is we can just set the ion blast to auto aim on the shields, and then we have a lot fewer shields to counter. And anyone that tries to repair the shields gets stunned. So we're going to be okay for quite a while. They're actually repairing their weapons at a pretty steady clip, though. Prove that. Kabooms! Alright, um... You hasten to contact the civilian ship. Apparently the ship was being assaulted... It was a science vessel, and they thank you for saving them and offer a small reward. Hey! That's not a small reward, that's a, that's a moderate reward. They should not apologize for that. Um, all right, so we're ready to jump. So, ooh, Mantis Homeworld, okay. Uh, so the Mantises are a race. Um, they specialize in close combat, and so their ships tend to have lots of teleporters to send over a boarding party. Uh, and because that's the case, I think it might be smart if I upgrade my internal doors. So if they do try to board, I can at least slow them down for a while. But I don't have a lot of really good melee fighters to deal with them. Let's try to keep these encounters to a minimum. Uh, there's a store. I could probably get some... Uh, these stores are awkwardly placed. I want to get a store when I have a lot of scrap, not when I'm starting out. This exit has six different approaches, so we're not going to get lost. Maybe we could get one encounter before going to the store, just in case. A Mantis Fighter! Your ship would make a mighty fine prize. Prepare for battle! They definitely have a teleporter. Okay, so... Um, let's get their shields offline and their weapons offline. There's no way that our weapons will warm up fast enough to shoot the teleporter. We're gonna have to deal with at least one boarding party, I think. Such is the nature of the mantises. Okay, uh, well, thankfully he teleported into my airlock. So I can just flush him out and do a lot of vacuum damage. Uh, you pick up chatter from the enemy ship. You know what? Forget this. Prepare for retreat. It looks like they're preparing to make a hasty getaway. Uh, no you aren't. We have unfinished business. Okay, so they... That guy chickened out, because he's taking a lot of vacuum damage, trying to get through my airlock. And he just decided to... abort mission. 
Kabooms! Oh good, we're getting some good scrap awards. So we might actually be able to afford something nice from the shop that we're about to visit. Get a stealth weapon. Could get a hacking system, and I'm starting to think this would be a really good idea. Because you can take one system offline, basically. I've got 15 drone pieces which operate the hacking system. I think that's probably the best pickup. Now, I have to figure out a way to power it. Uh, can't use it quite yet. I'm gonna keep my guns the way they are because my guns are freaking awesome at the moment. Uh, is this safe? I'm gonna say this is safe-ish. Oh, my get alert. You have to get ready for bed. Good luck with it. Ah, so uh, you must be in a more eastern time zone. It's still uh, pretty early here, but thank you so much for the rain. Thanks for stopping by. You're welcome anytime. Um, there's a rebel automated scout. It appears to be deactivated. Uh, just strip it, I suppose. Yeah, there's nothing interesting to... Uh, I should probably get that hacking system to be powerful as well. Ooh, we're engulfed. Let's keep ahead of the fleet here. I should probably get my third shield bubble pretty soon, too. Uh, Mantis Scouts. Okay. Uh, now, they don't actually have a teleporter. So, the typical Mantis threat is... Quite a bit lessened. Good, good, good. I'm glad that these ships are dropping lots of scrap. I didn't even launch a hack, so I guess I should be a little sparing with the hacks, because I've only got 16 pieces. 16 drones, which sounds like a lot, but they can deplete very quickly. Uh, you cross paths with the Mantis ship that looks to have had dozens of layers of armor plating added over what must have been a hundred year career. Its captain is the legendary thief Kazapthlokethkilik. He looks frightened. But I have a Mantis crew member attempt to hail him. The Mantis crew member steps forward. He and Kazapthlokethkilik perform a weird kind of alien haka. You, meanwhile, charge the battle systems. Uh, <laughs> um, they're definitely trying to board. Okay. Um, that's a fun spot. Intruders detected. I see. Okay, we can do a lot of vacuum damage to that guy before he breaks into our weapon room, at least. Ooh, but they got a they got a rocket off. Pretty nasty rocket to boot. Ah, now, interestingly, uh, their border, he has nowhere to go. They can't teleport him back, so he's basically stuck on our ship and he's choking out vacuum. So, Kazkath Plethkilik fights to the last, and you pick the scraps from the corpse of his ship. You sense, though, that his death has left a great mystery unresolved.
Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't have been a jerk. Shields repaired for sure. Uh, let's power up the med bay just a bit. Sure, our shield user. Hurt. All right, so um, I want the third shield bubble. How much is that going to cost? Going to be 160, which is actually not that far off. Mantis Interceptor. Okay. Uh, again, though, this one does not have a teleporter, so I'm kind of okay with it. They do have a really nasty looking rocket launcher, though. <sighs> oh, I think I beat it to the punch. So this must be one of those really slow rocket launchers. I can't remember if Mantis Space has any shops at all. I wouldn't mind having like a mind control system. I think that would really polish off my ship. Rebel fighter. Wow, and the, no, these are human rebels, but they do they do have a crude boarding teleporter, so. They're sending their their gunner in through the teleporter, though. Ooh. Uh, let's. Okay, we've got a Mantis guy. He's very good at close combat, so he can take out this border pretty quickly. Oh, that was bad luck. It's actually a pretty beefy ship. I shouldn't take them lightly. Uh, no surrender. But they ioned my shields completely. And my weapons... Wait, my, my shields and my weapons are all fully ioned. That is terrible. Uh, my shields are going to come back fairly soon, I guess, but... Good lord, what's the what are the chances that that random ion storm is gonna keep hitting the shields over and over again? Oh please, before I lose all my hull, just kill these guys. That's a pretty disastrous encounter. I need to find another shop to repair the hull. Stress. 
Definitely the opposite of being a shop. Uh, Federation Bomber. Uh, I could probably afford two fuel. Uh, thank the gods. We can finally get out of here. We're jumping straight home, so take this extra weapon. We won't need it. Hull smashing laser. Man, all sorts of wonderful... Lots of wonderful weapons. I don't think I'll fit that into this loadout, but um, definitely sell it. It's definitely a great deal. Empty node, okay. Um, so, let's see, getting that third shield would be like 160. So I could do that right now at the cost of everything. I think I need it though. Uh, we've got a rogue rebel ship harassing the system. Do you have time to go find it? Uh, sure. Okay. So they've got a border? Yeah, okay. Um, well, this should be pretty simple if he's going after the med bay. Yeah, trying to trying to fight a mantis while he's being healed by the medical bay is pretty hopeless on his end, I think. This is how the battles are supposed to go when I'm not getting random ion storms. Uh, we will not accept surrender. Seven scrap, that's more like it. Um, well, I suppose we really do need to increase. We need to maximize the chances of getting a shop so that we can repair and restock. Although I think the civilian sector has a lot fewer combat encounters, which means we'll get less scrap overall. And although the civilian sector would give us more options for the next jump. Let's do it. I'm really worried about the hull right now. Oh, store. Oh, just like that. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Is there a chance of visiting both store? Um, and there's our mind control if we want it, which I kind of do. down to basically nothing but um now we've got mind control and hacking which are both great the only thing i could really use now would be a cloak Ugh, that's gonna be a lot of scrap as well <laughs> the best captain of the game hi rainbow are you here to advise me I'll probably use advice um all right let's keep the mind control active because it doesn't cost anything for usage Totally. Excellent. Uh, 
They're setting up a quarantine to contain it, but a riot's broken out. Well, send in my rat crew. He's immune to diseases, right? It's unlikely the rock's impressive immune system is susceptible to a human virus, so you send it in. It's able to intimidate the workers long enough for the colony forces to set up quarantine. Their leader offers reward. I'm sure you that they'll try to find a cure as soon as possible. Thanks. I would like a little bit more hull repair. The master strategist? I believe it. Uh, cheap fuel, huh? I've got quite a lot of fuel, but that is a good price. But maybe I'll risk it, because I do need more scrap for this shop coming up. <gasps> Look at all these stores! Mm, these empty nodes are kind of a problem, though. Uh, this goes to a bunch of locations, so does the sorry. Uh, shop. Should probably just do some fixing. Okay, that gets my hull in kind of an okay place. There's a master engine, or not a master. Ooh. Ooh. I guess I can't afford these folks anymore. All right. Well, now that I'm in, now that I'm repaired, I need some actual combat encounter. <laughs> oh, dead node after dead node. This can be kind of a problem because then our scrap falls behind. There we go, Mantis Fighter. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, and they've got. Um, they've got a crew teleporter. Okay, so... Let's mess up their weapons. They're sending in how many people? Just one? Okay. Alright. Um, let's see if we can smoke them out a bit. I think their ship is kind of messed up. They've got problems. Uh, they're attacking my hack system. That guy can't possibly have much health left though, right? Uh, he warped back, okay. Uh, 56 scrap, that's quite good. Am I gonna visit another shop though? Question. Okay, um, uh, let's shut the doors. Is there enough air in there for you, you big baby? Big human mammal baby. Scout. Ooh, they've got all sorts of stuff going on here. Um... Oh, and they're trying to escape right away. Okay, so. What kind of drone is that? Oh, that's a hacking drone. Okay. Uh, um, well, we definitely want to hack, hack one of their things then. So, since we can't mind control their pilot, we can just do the robot equivalent of that, right? They hacked my door system. That's not the worst thing that could happen. And then as soon as my burst lasers are ready, then we'll hack his piloting and then... Mess up his weapons. Make sure it doesn't hurt us. 
doesn't have any shields forever. That ion gun with the four second cooldown is banana pants. I approve. And we got a drone piece back. Okay. Uh, is everybody alive? I think that runs alive. Alright, so... I should probably keep a buffer now of 150 scrap in case I spot a cloaking device, because that's my big weakness right now. You're really quiet. Ooh, a distress signal. A pirate scout! Okay, uh, they have a teleporter. Interesting. I'll get ready to nuke their pilot as soon as I... Uh, you did not choose your boarding place well, good sir. Alright, and then let's uh, mind control the pilot. That big baby. He boarded my airlock and didn't even try. Get through. Uh, accept their surrender offer? No. Okay, that was a pretty good jump. Um, now the question is, will I have time to do this and get to the exit before it gets engulfed? I think so. Since it's a nebula, it slows down the enemies a bit. Oh no, what's this? Intruders on board. I suppose we could just send the whole team in there, right? It looks like there's two humans coming into the into the helm. Um, let's see. Let's just get a nice little reception for this guy. Uh, the rock, since it's, I have one rock and one mantis, I guess the, they'll probably come out of this ahead. But I want to keep an eye on their targeting. It's not guaranteed. Let's do some three-on-one action, see how long this guy lasts. All right, now the good news is um, I have over 150 scraps, so the next shop I find with a cloaking device, I could probably buy it. I think I'll use that as kind of my unofficial buffer. Um, why are we... Oh god, we were losing crazy oxygen there because of the stupid plasma storm. I didn't see that. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, all of our crap is unpowered.
All right, so how do we obtain a cloak system in however many sectors we have left? Uh, pirate control charter. I think pirates are generally pretty simple to fight. Or not simple, but they're straightforward to fight. And blowing up pirates causes them to drop scrap. Just call it right out of the gate. We might as well get these these rear ones first before they get engulfed. Our shields are down. We won't last long. Shield bishop of yours? Sure. Ow. Wondering if I want to upgrade, let's see, how much would, how much would the next mind control cost? It'd be like 60, and then I'd still have enough for a cloak. Although I don't know if pirate sectors have shops. Ooh, this is a, this is a potential trap. We don't want to go here, do we? Or do we? Pirate Assault. Ooh, and they've got fancy systems. Okay. Such as a cloaking device. Okay, so they're probably really going to teleport some dudes over pretty quick here. Oh, no, wait, that's not a teleporter. Never mind. Okay. Right, as soon as my burst lasers are ready, we will trance the pilot and then do this. Oh, they've got a, a NG or a Zoltan trying to repair those. Oh, sneaky cloak. They have a lot of weapon systems, though. This is pretty substantial. And then my mind control is almost ready again. Whoa! Uh, that's probably the best offer I'm ever going to get. Because the hull beam can also be sold. I don't think I'm going to use the hull beam in this loadout, but it's it's there. Um, which does the last shield bubble cost? It's going to be 250 might even be able to swing that. Oh no, not another one of these things. Um, oh no, I think an encounter here would go very badly. Let's avoid the risk. Trying to do those encounters with half my power out. Oh, not that. I wanted a. Really needed as a um, cloaking device, but hopefully I'll have a chance to find it. Tom Banks. An alien named Tom. Um, 
I do have a bunch of augment slots that are open, and the long range scanner is not a bad item, although we're getting near the end of the sectors, so maybe I won't get that much mileage. Uh, drone recovery arm. I don't know if that applies to the hacking device, but I'm not too fussed about drone part. I'll just skip all this. I really need cloak. Everything. Yeah, I, li I like how it just automatically assumes that I'm okay with depowering the O2 of all things. Um, I could also get a stronger or a stronger hack. How much does that cost? Be like seventy. Yeah. Well, although yeah, we don't need we don't necessarily need it. Uh, a pirate aggressor. That looks like a pretty fancy ship, but... We can still mess him up. I guess I never noticed what hacking the uh, teleporter would do. I guess maybe it recalls the boarding party. Like that. So, do I mind control the pilot or hack the pilot? Let's hack the pilot. And then mind control something else when it's ready. They're sending over quite the crew. Okay. Uh, them hitting our O2 is kind of a problem. I don't know if I can leave them just like that. Might have to like mind control one of them so that they die a lot faster. Okay, that got rid of some of their weapons, but not all of them. Next time my volley is ready. Make sure their weapons stay down. Oh, I did, I did take a weapon hit there. Escape, huh? Trying to surrender, huh? No. Nope. None of that. Okay, you get to go repair the engines. Pizza's acquired and consumed. Yeah. <laughs> Delaying pizza. safely work on my reactor pieces because we know we're going to use them no matter what. Might as well have a really strong hack and a really strong mind control. Now the only thing I'm missing is a cloak. Place makes them to order. Uh, that probably sounds better. There's nothing uh, worse than 
Pizza of a dubious age. <laughs> Bougie pizza. <laughs> well, it's just like cook, serve, delicious, right? It's our, it's our one little bit of comfort in this nihilistic hellscape. Okay. Um. Why? Oh, I suppose I sh I do need to keep some power in reserve for getting better engines. How much would that cost to do right now? That would be seventy-five. I, let's not do it now. Let's do it. One or two more encounters. Intruders. Right, well, enjoy your vacuum, I guess. They're actually shooting their own dude. Do the rebels have no honor. Although I don't like how my mind control dude can just sort of... <laughs> I mean, even though he's friendly... Will he still try to get away from vacuums? Or can I still vacuum him to death even though he's friendly? I think everyone's dead. I'm not sure what's going on inside this room, but I don't see anything being attacked, so I think I'm fine. <laughs> uh, you knew half the answers to... Yeah, I mean, I think uh, Cook, Serve, Delicious, bet between the games 1, 2, and 3, they're trying to definitely get more fancy and obscure. Um, where do we go? I wouldn't mind another shop just to get my hull hatched. Let's try this. <laughs> Hi, Antares. <laughs> that chicken. <gasps> oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Um, ten or? I mean, let's just do five because we might. There might be the automatic event in Sector 8 where we get repaired. There's a store. We can probably fit in one more encounter before we go there, hopefully. Look at all those... There's a lot of feathers. Uh, there's no response for you. Let's dock with the station. Sure. <laughs> we don't really know what happened to this research station. We're just going to strip it and leave. Um... Okay, I definitely should work on this engine. 75, that still leaves enough for a cloak. Uh, 39 evasion, is that good? I don't know. Does this guy have, is he maxed out? He's not quite maxed out on engine skill, so maybe when he gets his next engine skill, we'll be fine. <laughs> Welcome back, Air. <Amber. laughs> This cloak, the cloak, the cloak. I didn't deserve it. I was delaying the cloak for so long. Yeah. I think I have enough fuel. <laughs> thank you, thank you, of course. Okay. Now how do I power this thing? Um, I'll probably just end up putting like one more. Okay, no cloak for now. Or maybe we'll, we'll have a cloak. What's the basic cloak? Five seconds? Okay. Yeah, we'll do it that way. I'm spread a little thin here, but I think having a diversity of systems is good. Uh, looks like we're only going to get two more encounters before we have to skadoodle. Oh, no, 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 that's just, this killed me last run. Uh, Alright, um... And I can't use any of my fancy stuff. 
until that shield is down. Uh, if they sh if that rocket gets off, then I'll have to cloak it, I suppose. Oh, I think I I think this is one of those super slow rockets, and so I didn't they didn't get a chance to fire it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd be terrified of a, of a chicken that has a position of authority. Okay, so I think we're actually doing okay on this ship. What we're not doing okay on is what's going to happen when these flares start coming. Uh, they're trying to retreat. Good luck with that. Okay, solar flare imminent. These solar flares can just mess you up so badly. At least on this ship layout. Because... Um, take this and let us live. That's a lot of fuel. No, you don't get to live. Um... Yeah, 54 scrap, that's better. Um, alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Wait, maybe we can fit in another jump. Well, no, wait, this, this means that the exit could be engulfed on the next turn. Let's not do that. <laughs> I mean, chickens are completely, like, ruthless. If... if like, they can be peaceful with animals that are equal or larger than them, because they have to be, but if you watch a chicken that gets a small thing cornered, they just, like, impale it. Okay, alright, so no one, no one actually died. Yeah, spreading, like, these three systems are all super great, but I think having all three of them powered is a little tricky, because even if you completely max out your reactor, there's just not that many pips to go around. <laughs> the adults will be giant assholes. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Slug Nebula or a Rebel Stronghold? Uh, Rebels drop lots of scrap, don't they? We do Rebels. <laughs> the chicken police are here to take away the loot emote. Our police, our police, our police. Spud mood drool, our police, our police, our police. <laughs> Thank you for the cheer story, writer. I appreciate it. That's very kind. <laughs> I love the I love it when my Australian robot tries to pronounce emotes. Yeah. Um, does a rebel stronghold have shops? I wonder. Ooh, I really don't like this. It's pathing. These are weird connections. <laughs> the police that we deserve. Uh, an auto hacker. Okay, well. They have four different guns. Am I reading that correctly? They hacked my cloak? Oh no, I was kind of counting on that. Okay, yeah, all their weapons can just kind of sit down.
Uh, okay, the fuel's starting to grind down a little bit. Maybe I'll, I'll, maybe I'll hang in there. Alright, so we might as well, I guess we'll just max out the reactor, because I don't have any, I can't think of a single thing in a shop that I would use. Um, and then we got 42 evade, so my engineer leveled up. Um, I think we're stable for now. I don't, I have a lot of things that are uncapped, but I have a lot of things. I don't, it's such an awkward pathing, I don't think it. Uh, I'm pursuing a civilian ship. Weapons engaged. Even the civilian ship! Oh man, look at that loadout. Alright, um. Now, if that rocket goes off, I'm definitely going to. <gasps> they got my weapons? Oh lord. I just gonna have to jump then? I guess, I guess my weapons do come back eventually. That rocket didn't go, did it? There it goes. All right. Boop. That looks like a really big rocket, too. I am upset. Okay. Uh, hack the piloting. Okay, the weapons can go sit down in a corner somewhere. How often are they going to trash my weapon loadout, though? That often, okay. Uh, when does my hack come back? Not for quite a while, though. Man, that's so oh, that's a very nastily timed hack. Alright, if their weapons come back, I can guess I can cloak one of them. There we go. When in doubt, start fires. Contact the civilians. Oh! Upper award, thank you. Yep. Reactor's actually maxed out, so we're in a weird spot now where we... We can level up systems to get a buffer, or to... Um, yeah, give them some damage buffers. And there is also the fourth shield bubble. I don't know how I would power that. That would be awkward to power. I'd have to unpower something up. 180. Might do that though. Uh, wow, lots of auto hackers. Three in a row. Well, there's nothing to mind control, is there? I got my cloak. Okay, that's not the worst thing that can happen, I guess. Okay, now before the burst lasers go, let's hack their, their evasion. There you go. That should make them marginally less dangerous. What's that? Oh, they're using a bomb weapon. I was not used to that sound effect. Oh, so my ion is offline for a little while. Um, I feel like one of you idiots go help with that.
Now they're gonna actually have shields. Thank you for your service, Mr. Slug. So that was irritating, but they didn't actually do any hull damage. The big question is, if I get a force shield bubble, where does the power come from? Maybe mind control for now. Because I guess a lot of times when I cast mind control, I only need it to work for just a few seconds to get a volley. Wait, how did Mort get so injured? Uh, a rebel rigger. Attacking outpost! Defend the outpost! Actually, I suppose if I cap out my scrap, I don't really need to pursue every every little encounter, do I? But I can always use a bit more scrap. They only have two shields. I think I won't hack this one. I don't need to. I'm gonna keep an eye on that on that rocket launcher though. The hell is that thing? Ion intruder. Uh I see. There goes there. Alright, yeah, I think I cloaked that rocket very briefly. Uh, dude, bro. Um, who can we spare? You guys need to go help out that engine room. That engine room has got problems. So if you if you can't if you attack the drone controller on their ship, does that make the ion intruder like go dormant or something? And it looks like yeah, he's not really fighting back, is he? Get that breach fixed. For God's sakes. Uh those pompous bastards expected free service just because they defeated the Federation. Take this for your help. Alright, well, I almost died, but that's good, I guess. Kojo's here! Hello, hello! Hey, <laughs> Captain Spud. <laughs> Welcome on in. Happy Tuesday. Um, who's Mort, and why is he injured? Did we, I don't can't even tell if we took hull damage there. I guess we're okay. It's always the rockets that kill us, isn't it? Um, good pull. I guess we're just subtle for level one hacks for a little while. This looks like a trap. I think I'd get engulfed if I went up there. So let's stick to the middle where the nodes have some better connectivity. Auto assault!
Is that a rocket launcher on the left? I can't quite tell. It totally is. Okay. Well, enjoy your fire, I guess. Yeah, I, my fuel was really low there for a second. But... <laughs> You're minutes away from hitting the sack, and then I had to go on an FTL run. Um, well, for what it's worth, I think I'm in Sector 7, so if you want to see how this run goes, it shouldn't take all that long, one way or another. Um, so the Rebel Strongholds definitely produce as much scrap as I w was hoping they would, but... Oddly, I don't really need that much scrap unless I want to buffer my subsystems a bit. Um, we are absolutely going to kill this thing. It only has two shields. Oh, no, there we go. Okay. Sneaky bastard. That looks like a really hefty rocket system they've got over there. Okay. Um, all right, well... You, eye on you. I'm gonna keep a very close eye on that rocket launcher because I think it's gonna it's gonna shoot pretty soon. There we go. Alright, and then before my laser hits, we want to hack their pilot, I guess. I'm very slowly learning these little things. <laughs> what surgery is this? <laughs> yeah, you know what? You won't, you're, you'll, you won't believe me, Kojo. I got all of these weapons in Sector 1. It took a long time to get them online, but they're all from Sector 1. All right, weapon systems, you sit down, be quiet. Yeah, I didn't realize how great the Ion Blast was because it's it looks not so great when you look at the damage, but it... Um, it has such a short recharge timer on it that you can really kind of harass them. And then all I need is a couple ways to negate evasion. Uh, my hack isn't going to be ready, is it? Wait, there it is. One hit point. Am I stacked? Yeah, it, I noticed that like even if you max out your reactor, you can't really max out all these things because the reactor does cap at a certain point. Um, I know it sounds like a silly complaint, but it does mean that there's some extra decisions to make. Uh, oh, they, did they give me a free augment? Oh, no, no, they didn't. They just scanned this sector. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty great. I can see why I, I, I kind of balked at the three energy cost at first, but I think it's probably worth it. Um, gosh, I mean, I can't think of anything that would be in the stores that I need. Maybe I will um, possible ship. Let's go visit the store, and then if this, unless the store has something totally amazing in it, like crew members, then I will um, probably use it on having my subsystems. Uh oh, intruders! Oh, and they're in a bad spot too. Okay. Um. Well, let's have you guys gang up on this guy. I have. I. I could. I could use a couple more crew members. I think. Try it this way. That's even with the boarding party, they have a lot of crew. Okay, so all right. So before my 
first laser hits, I want to make sure that I pack them. And I don't know if... Oh, it's so tense. I never quite know which rocket launchers are fast and which rocket launchers are slow. Because the slow ones I can beat to the punch and the fast ones I can't. And the Boris is here! Hello, hello! Oh, they definitely got it off. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Enjoy. Um, now, what's the boarding situation? Wait, can Mr. Slug actually not fit in there? Uh, Mantis bro, I know you're strong. I don't know if you're if you can take on two dudes. Why can't my Slug dude get in there? He can. Okay. Uh, trying to escape, huh? I don't think so. Oh, okay, so the boarders just straight up died. I thought they would try to warp back. Uh, enjoy your weapon room fire. One rocket, one drum part. That's pretty weak sauce, dudes. That's a that's an embarrassing amount of scrap actually. We get patched up. <laughs> uh, do the primaries? Ah, uh, was it? Are we are watching the New Hampshire ones? Yeah, I, I was watching those for a bit. I guess there's already been some uh, casualties in the Democrat Party. I knew that they. It's kind of unusual to have five or six people go into Super Tuesday, isn't it? <laughs> we can visit the store well we could probably oh weird this doesn't actually connect to the store so we better go for me i would not mind some crew uh, or some augments Oh man, these are all really great weapons too. I don't really want to swap my weapons around right now because I'm kind of accustomed to them, but... Yeah, these heavy lasers are pretty, pretty cool. I think I want to get like a crewmate. Oh wow, a weapon master. Weapon master crewmate. I think I already have a weapon master, but I wouldn't mind having an extra person to fight borders. And then possibly a shield booster. Scanners are great if you get them early on, I think, but um, Heavy lasers would be a great fourth weapon. Yeah, I don't think I can fit it in, because even if you max out your weapons, there's only eight. Um... Oh, is it? Is it only one power? Oh, wow, you're right. Okay. Uh, I might be able to squeeze that in, then. Oh, oh, wait. Three po I, was, I thought they were both three power. I guess not. Okay. Huh. Well, I can certainly afford it. Because you're right, I'm probably not going to use this heal booster. Unless something goes terribly wrong. Uh, Emma. So Mort is actually... Yeah, Mort is better in that spot. Uh, Emma, you should probably just be kind of like... Uh, I don't know what you should guard. Just stay centralized, I guess. Yeah, this, this heal blast thing is probably not going to work out. Um, now, how, how hard would it be to get one more point of weapon capacity? That would be 100, but I can certainly do it. Uh, we would have to siphon power from somewhere. 
less hacking, maybe? I do have to make decisions at some point. But yeah, this would be pretty devastating, wouldn't it? So we could do less hacking, less mind control. A level one of each. <laughs> uh, there was a backup battery. Yeah, I suppose I could grab that. Um, I was debating getting some more subsystems just so that they can take damage. Backup battery, and then if I upgrade it, I see it's do 30 seconds of power. I don't know. I've, I've really. I think I would use that really poorly. <laughs> I think I would. Also, the I guess the four bonus power can go over the reactor maximum. Okay, we'll give it a try. And then I do want to get maybe a point of helm just so that my helm doesn't get knocked out in a single hit. Oh, I see. You, you manually activate it over here. I've never used a backup battery before. Okay. Um, can we do three jumps? Probably not. Sure. Well, maybe we can. We'll go here, see how close the fleet gets. Uh, sell drone parts for scrap. Well, I, I use it for hacking, but we don't need a thousand of them, do we? Uh, now I know drone, drone pieces get shot down occasionally, so we do need a few of them. Not a huge amount, right? It's all six, maybe. Okay, we should be able to sneak in one more encounter. Nearby planets means ruthlessly mined to harvest resources for a ship of immense size. Does the rebel fleet have a ship of immense size? Let's look around. Oh dear. It's a second rebel flagship! What well, what did I just do? What did I just do? Okay. Uh, even in its weakened state, the rebel ship powers up. Get ready. Uh Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, hmm. It says they're hostile. That's kind of mean. Okay, well. Let's not take any chances then. Let's. Um, they do have two different weapon rooms, don't they? Uh, what's the best hack target, I wonder? Looks like they've got pretty nasty weapons on each side. Let's hack that, and then shoot that, and then get ready to... Um... Let's see, they do have a teleporter. It doesn't look like anyone's headed to the teleporter quite yet, though. Or are they? I don't have super shields or anything. Take out that missile. Uh, yeah, which one is the missile? This is, is this the missile right there? Oh, no, wait. I, oh, my weapon number's changed. Let's change that, okay. Alright, and then once my volley is ready... more you're the weapon master, right? Okay. Once my volley is almost ready, um, it came into the. Um, do I want to let them just hang out in there? Because I don't want to abandon my engine room because I'm going to lose a bunch of evasion. Maybe we'll have like two mantises deal with it. Okay, now it's mind control their helm. And S up. Okay, 
basically all their stuff. Um, where do I want this heavy laser to go? Yeah, I might as well just mess them up. Well, I think I threw their bridge into disarray. Um, for a little while at least. Uh, Mantis dudes, you're not actually doing too well here. Did you, or do you not have combat skill? Might win. Let's go. Let's go patch up a bit first. I'm kind of worried about you guys. Oh, they chickened out. Okay. Uh, this thing, I guess it's going to stay offline forever, because the guy... Well, no, the guy could come back and repair it if he wanted to, but he probably doesn't want to. Right. Okay. Oh, that was gratifying. Okay. <laughs> I took a monster hook on it and insert my dominance. Those missiles give me nightmares. Those missiles give me nightmares, too. Like, everybody. Uh... Yeah, I'm so glad I picked up that second Mantis. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Uh, wow, five fuel, five missiles, five drones, 85 scraps. Uh, uh, <laughs> another heavy laser. With, uh, with the second flagship not yet finished, it doesn't make the battle any less of a victory, and you've crippled the rebel fleet's strength considerably. But you don't overstay your welcome. You quickly salvage choice bits of metal drones and even an unusual object or two from the wreckage and prepare to jump. Oh man, there's there's not a ship that has five weapon sockets, is there? That'd be awesome. Um, as you're leaving, you detect an interesting Federation ship signal. Apparently the Rebels were reverse engineering the advanced weaponry on a prototype Federation cruiser. You don't know how they captured the ship intact, but you program its FTL drive to return the ship to the nearest Federation base. You just hope it gets there unharmed. Federation cruiser added to the hangar. Oh, that's fancy. All right. Hot diggity dang. All right, so my power situation is still kind of awkward. I suppose I should... Um, I should probably do subsystems just so that they can take some extra damage. Like helm for sh like probably just helm. Three points of helm isn't a bad thing. I'll hold on to the rest of it. All right. Get out of this. Let's get out of this popsicle stand. <laughs> <laughs> is it a is it a banana eggplant ship? This beacon is home to a rebel checkpoint. They're stopping and, uh, let's see. Uh, attack and escape. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that, I, 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 okay. Um, rebel rigor, you say. Uh, they've got a bunch of defense drones, so it looks like I won't be doing any hacking. Uh, so let's power down the hack. Um, let's get their weapons off. Okay, and then I'll, I'll neutralize their evasion when I have the ability to do so. I'm gonna keep an eye on their weapons and maybe cloak the first wave if I have to. I can never quite tell if their weapons are faster or slower than mine. Ooh, that's a lot of misses. They must have good um, autopiloting. Oh, 
Oh, that, that weapon set is kind of dope, too. Uh, they have so many crew in there, it's almost tempting to just reduce the number of crew using the guns. Uh, if you don't destroy their ship, no, we're gonna totally be destroying the ship. All right. <laughs> Kojo, thank you for the host. But you have to start your FTL save all over again. Do, does FTL not do cloud saves? I guess that wasn't very common in uh, 2012. Grinding out everything a third time. Oh man. Oh man, that's super scary. I wonder how that even happens, especially in a game like this that's not like super complicated. Um, let's see. Let's do some damage buffers in there. Uh, explain your mission. Explain the weaknesses of the enemy fleet. Ten fuel. To destroy their flagship, you say. The game broken, you couldn't play. That is, oh, that is just so heinous. Um, I guess I don't I don't know the game well enough to know how long it would take to reclaim that kind of progress, but uh, it's very discouraging. Uh, ooh. Okay, so they're gonna destroy the repair stations. That's super not cool. I guess we want to reach the base because we know that. So the the flagship always moves towards the base. I think if we're trying to. Anticipate its movements. Because it's going to be one, two, three jumps no matter which way I do it. It'd be nice to make use of these repair stations later, but I don't think they're going to let us do that, are they? <laughs> uh, how did I get so much fuel? I don't know. I did buy a whole bunch. I was low early on. Maybe I overreacted. Uh, fighting over a space station. The Federation appears to be losing ships. Should we assist them? I don't really need scrap, honestly. But yeah, I kind of do. Uh, all right, I got a fighter. Oh my god, how did, I think I rapidly paused and unpaused. Okay. Um, do we want to hack you dudes? I don't think so. I don't really have anything worth hacking. I'll just probably cloak the first volley and then mind control for mine. Okay. Oh, I, I totally missed the mind control. Alright, well, we're doing it now. Trying to escape already, Howards. I thought this was your moment of triumph. I think you overestimate their chances. Did my mind control dude just ace one of their repair dudes? That's kind of cool. I kind of feel bad shooting my mind control dude because he contributed a lot to this effort. <laughs> <laughs> Story wants me to set everything on fire. <laughs> crystal class. I don't know if I've ever seen a, a crystal enemy. Contact the survivors. Oh, good stuff.
I mean, I might as well just start throwing points in this stuff, right? Maybe. I could use a little bit more engine, I guess, but I wouldn't be able to power it. Alright, so I think reaching the base doesn't really do anything specific. It's just that we know that that's where the flagship is heading. And we might as well try to engage it while there's still some repair stations still alive. I don't know. I don't know how any of that works. Sector 8 is weird. Rebel Rigger! Defend the outpost. I don't know who we are. Uh, they definitely have some kind of rocket weapon. Let's maybe not see what that does. Um, a lot of drones, too. I think I saw, the, is, now does that rocket weapon, is that disabled now? I think I, it looked like it went, it, it got sad and tucked its head away. Oh, I need to time that heavy laser better. It's desynchronizing with my uh, regular lasers, so it's hitting the shields. Chin. Well, I guess they have no shields. At least for the moment. But let's still do a volley just in case, because the... Yeah, the first shield bubble could come back at any time. Uh, salvage what we can. Take this for your help. Oh man, I am drowning in scrap. I have never seen this much scrap. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I guess we have a hand at the base. Okay, so that that's a repair station that is just totally dead forever. It's cool, I guess. Yeah, enemies have been dropping a lot of fuel. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so if we go to this star, we meet them there, right? Okay. Wrecking the rebel scrubs, yes. So if I travel to this star, we immediately start the encounter. I suppose it's better to do that now, because then I might have the option of making use of one of these repair stations later. Although there's, the, it looks like the jumps are so sparse around here. Like if I, like for example, if I traveled to this one, there's nowhere to go. I would be kind of stuck out here in the boondocks. Oh yeah, control click. I forget who who told me about that, but that's pretty handy. It's handy for those weapons that have like four second cooldown. All right. Oh, look at all those scrubs. I don't really have a good way to kill crew though, so I'm worried that they're gonna have a lot of crew to run around and repair things. Okay, now this is their rocket thingy, and we want to probably cloak the first one. I'd like to hack them too, but I don't know how to fit that in power-wise. Maybe that's, that's what the backup battery will be for. Uh, they're hacking my backup battery. All right, well, that answers that. 
Uh, how did I lose engine power? Okay. Now, because they cloaked, they're almost certainly going to beat me to the first volley, I believe, right? And the important thing is that this guy right here, Bovi, we want him to just die. All right, that looks like the rocket volley, so let's go ahead and cloak it. And then... You need Bovi to just straight up die, right? Uh, Bovi, you have seven hit points and you are on fire. This is this is kind of okay, right? Because it takes about twenty hit points to put out a fire, doesn't it? I think. Why didn't you leave the room, Bovi? Why didn't you just evacuate? Why didn't you call your friends in there to help you? Like, what is what is Bovi thinking when they strap him into this this little missile pod? Like, that looks like a workplace hazard. Like, I don't think Osha would approve of this, right? Hmm. Okay, so um, the remaining weapons are less terrible. I suppose the focus fire is kind of good, though, because... Um, Crew deaths are going to be at a premium here. I don't really have any anti-crew weapons, but I'd really like crew to die. So here we are. Maybe I will... I can alternate mind controls and hacks on the helm just to keep my accuracy up. Let's give that a try. The, the hacking stresses me out because once you commit to a target, you can never change that target to my knowledge. Oof. Okay. And they they hit my shields. Alright, uh hack the bridge. And then everything on this guy. Like this weapon is not as lethal, but I would prefer it to just I want that crew member to die, that'd be amazing. Okay, uh, Bomfy, you have 51 health. Let's see if we can fix that. That's actually two flames. Does it now? Does it take him? Does it take him twice as long to put out two flames as one flame? Because that might <laughs> slightly sinister. When have I ever been slightly sinister? <laughs> On hard mode, the missile and main lasers are not. I, oh, I see. Okay. Uh, whoa. Oh my God! Thanks, Story Writer. How did how did that happen? Okay, so does hacking the backup battery do something other than what I think it does? I thought it would just disable it, so I can't activate it. But it did. It seemed to monkey around with my other power. Let's let's not do this. All right. Um, bomb fee. Uh, now, is Bombfy like Dead Man Walking, or do I have to shoot him again? Because he's he's got 20 health and two fires. I think he's no longer my problem. I'm going to take a guess that that's the case. All right. Uh, let's maybe get rid of their cloak. Uh, Bomfy, you have got one fire remaining and eight health. I would love for you to, like... I'm watching your health so carefully here. Oh, Bomfy, I believed in you! I believed in you! No, I did not believe in you. I, I knew you were screwed. All right. 
Okay, so now I, have, I still have two ways to negate their evasion here, and I think I might uh, injure these injure these guys who are um, trying to repair the cloak. Okay, yeah, I guess two people repairing the cloak can um, uh, they can repair it pretty fast if they've got two people in there. Um, how did you ion my shields? Ioning shields seems like a uh, a really heinous war crime. Anybody who does that should be punished. Um, where did my power go? Uh, so, does hacking the backup battery actually, like, take... It takes more than just the backup. It also takes actual power away. Okay. Um, make sure that the pilot is out of the picture. And then since there's so many people in here, I figure it's a good chance to do some crew damage. I don't know that we'll finish these guys off because they have freedom of movement. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well. Oh, well, well. I suppose if I had hacked this room or something, like... I'm, this is probably, I'm not going to kill any crew during this, but it's exciting. Okay. Um, I don't think I have a way of killing any more crew, right? Because if I do two points of hull damage, then they start running away. Unless, I don't know. That final volley, does that final volley, does that, is that going to do crew damage to the cloakroom? Uh, oh, you, oh, I'm sorry, I missed that. Uh, the, ha oh, hacking the backup battery does steal two power. Oh, okay. Does the enemy ever have a backup battery? I don't know if that'd be worth hacking, but minus two power would seem to hurt them a bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so that final volley, you can't really see how much the last shot does as the whole ship goes dark, but... Um, everyone's alive. How did that happen? Um, and I've got extra power. It feels weird to... Um, Oh, I don't. Oh, I want forty evasion, or do I want maximum control? Maximum mind control is pretty hot, but I think we need maximum evasion. Okay, forty-five. Um, again, we have a whole bunch of scrap. I suppose it's it's all just damage buffers at this point, right? What do we really not want to get damaged? <laughs> did that take zero damage? How the hell did that happen? I think I was just really, yeah, I was just really ruthless. Okay. Um, let's see, what's the thing that would get damaged that would just totally screw us over? It would probably be like the O2 or the med bay or the... Let's just throw in some damage buffers here. Well, I suppose there's no reason to go tarry around, right? I might as well just chase it. Because my ship is stacked. And I thought the I thought the Kestrel was like the scrappy little underdog. That was not a pun, I promise. Alright. Um, yeah, I can't think of any other preparations, so we just dive in. Uh, I'm so scared. It is heavily damaged from the previous fight. The scans indicate that it has redirected considerable power to its drones. Get ready. Ugh. Okay, so they yeah, they definitely lost some crew. I'd like them to lose more crew. 
So this the missile launcher the missile launcher works, but if I damage it, it's 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 not repairable because no one can reach it. Okay. Oh god. The the noisy drones, the noisy drones. Okay. Um I'm pretty sure auto ion on the shield is the best thing to do. Now, they also have defensive drones. I don't know if that's going to mess up my normal shots. I might have to cloak their first missile. Um, you don't want to kill all the crew? Alright. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I want to kill select crew, certainly. Um, I'm wondering if I if it's a good idea to hack their drones. I might give that a try, just because I need to. I'm gonna need some relief from them at some point. Watch for that first missile volley. I think their first missile volley is gonna probably. Oh, what is this thing? It's a border. Okay. Uh, Mantis dudes. This is your time to shine. Probably slug dude too. We can do three on one, right? Or should we leave him in there for a while? No, he's gonna break my cloak. Control the pilot. Destroy this thing utterly. Oh, my hack didn't make it there, did it? Uh, let's see. All right. Let's try to send another one and then do the silly little trick where we power it down when it enters the map. Let's see. Oh, it didn't even make it there, did it? Okay. Well, I think we got the missiles. Um, okay, the border drone. Border drone is going to die pretty soon. Yeah, I don't know if there's a good way to launch that hack. Um, we're on level two oh two. Oh, because it'll it'll fill in faster than the breach. Hmm. I could do that, although I think this border drone is going to die pretty soon. I might be able to just patch it up normally. I'd love to get a hack over there, but this thing really makes it difficult. Maybe I'll just... Oh, that beam is actually pretty dangerous because the drones are so good at um, dropping my own shields. Uh, Alright, you guys. Here. Uh, Alright, so now we have to start triaging some stuff. I guess I'll have to give up on the hacking for a little while until I can get this power all sorted out. I guess we could also run the extra. Let's have the extra power here. Okay, so this weapon is not a problem. Uh, power Surge, what weapon is that? And can I cloak it? Uh, is it this weapon? Yeah, I, I remember that trick from Kojo. I, um, I, I don't think I've mastered the, the, the exact timing on it. Um, but I'll give it a try. Uh, now, I, Power Surge, that means they're going to do, like, the, the eight-way laser? Is that right? I didn't actually see it fire yet. Or is it just... Is it all these drone things? Oh, it's that thing. Okay, let's try to cloak this part of it then. Okay, it's, the, it's that weapon. Okay. All right, well, um... I mean, since his shields are so messed up, we might as well just attack the drones directly since we have that luxury now. Uh, was that yet another intruder? A border? Okay. Uh, he's gonna punch my, um... 
my hacking system, which I was struggling to make use of anyway. So maybe the mantises can take care of it on their own. My happy little commandos. Oh, power surge is... Oh, so the power surge means something different on each phase? Okay. I see, I see. Uh, well, I, I'm enjoying the flames. Those are encouraging. <gasps> you are repairing drones? How much health do you have, Stick? Wait, who gives birth to a beautiful little child and names him Stick? Uh... It fights over and over volley. Oh, that's right, because he's a drone. So if I, if the ship is destroyed, the drone controller is destroyed, which means he's no longer animated. Okay. Um, are there any humans that are low on health? Not really. Yeah. I suppose if if I mess up his. I, I want my mantises to feel useful. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, well, you're not useful by repairing, so get out of there. Leave that to the professionals. <laughs> oh man, you're right. I guess it's the it's the fourth shield bubble, maybe. Everybody go back to your posts and then put the wounded dudes in here. Hmm. This is called domination drink it in because it's because it's not very common. Okay, so I'd love to power up my hack. Oh man, this is tough. I think I need a little bit of everything on this next phase, don't I? Yeah, it's, it's stressful. I didn't realize that you could cap out the reactor and then still have really difficult decisions to make. But I guess it'd be like that. Um, but again, since, yeah, you're right, it didn't take any damage. <laughs> we will, Durka. We will. Uh, all right. And since there's no damage taken and there's no scrap to spend, there's really no reason to delay, right? It's just, it's just my own trembling terror. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I should have should have a command for that, shouldn't I? All right. Uh, you're not certain how it's able to keep fighting with this amount of damage that it's sustained, but it looks like it's transferred power to the transporter as well as some kind of super weapon. You prepare. This is it. Now, when they say super weapon, from what I remember from last time, nothing to sweat. We'll see. I'm okay. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how this. I've done this phase exactly once, and when I say done, I mean die instantly. Um, what happened was is that I knew that that eight-way laser was coming, so I held my cloak in check and um, uh, waiting for that. But before that comes, you're gonna get their their regular old three missiles again. And one of those missiles hit my helm and started two fires. And everything just cascades from there because trying to get people in there to put out the fires means that no one's evading, which means, you know, and that it, like it got sealed within the first five seconds. So I'm really worried about something exactly like that happening. I'm almost wondering if it's worth cloaking the. Is it better to cloak the missiles or is it better to cloak the octo laser? Oh yeah, I definitely had fewer systems last time too. I guess I'm trying to figure out. It, it does seem to boil down to uh, which attack do you cloak. It's either the missiles or the eight spray laser, but not both. And it's and and it's troublesome because we can't instantly knock out either of those weapons because there's all this shielding. Uh, oof. And we've got our mind control. Okay, so um, we're probably gonna have to hack the helm eventually, but we have to get, get the shields down. Uh, 
Um, probably want to mind control my own dude, I'm thinking. And then probably hack their helm uh, after we get the shields down. Uh, it's better to cloak the super weapon surge, but you can always max evasion. Let's see. Okay, so maybe what I'll do is, uh, since I can't hack right now, I can um, take some power out of there. I don't need it right now, but maybe I'll just sort of clench my teeth for the first missiles and see if 48% dodge is good enough. And then hopefully this volley will impact these shields. This is tough though, because every method that I have to reduce evasion doesn't work until I hit the shields, and I can't hit the shields if their evasion is high. But we'll see how this goes, all right. And then they're boarding into this room, into my mind controller. Okay, well, we can choke them out a little bit. Uh, the ion blast. Oh, so it'll it'll deplete the shield. Okay. Oh, it does double. Okay, and it shoots pretty fast. But you can still get a you can still get a streak of bad misses, can't you? Okay, I got the intruders. I suppose it does shoot pretty fast though. Okay. Uh, Mantis buddies, you get ready in the med bay. Give these fellows a nice warm welcome. Uh, I didn't miss the rockets today. Oh, there's the rockets. Okay, but yeah, we have to just take it because we know that the super weapon's coming. 48. 48, 48. Okay, so one hit to the hull, one hit to the med bay. It's not the worst thing, I guess. But the super shield is still up, so. <laughs> I might have Duka. I am not. I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> it's a it's a dice rolling game though. All right. um, I'm watching the super shield. A okay, power surge. Now there's a delay. The power surge doesn't mean I want to cloak right now. It means I want to cloak when I see the eight spray. Okay, but they just lost their super shield, so. Oh, my poor mantises are trying to repair that med bay. Oh, this sucks because I need I need a little bit of power in all this stuff. So maybe that was a good time to. Uh, that was a good. That would be a good time to. Uh, this stuff. Okay, now I'd love to get a hack onto their helm because this is the only way I have to negate their evasion. I cannot use my mind control on their pilot because I have to use it defensively. I think I'm understanding this correctly. Actually, no, let's cancel all the weapons. We want to do a concerted volley on this one. And as soon as we take out that rocket, then I think it cannot be repaired. <laughs> yeah, that channel with the sheep emotes is just wonderful. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, the first mind control I used defensively because I couldn't use it through the Zoltan shield, but now that I think about it, that's probably for the best. Because... Yeah, everything gets thrown off. And I suppose I could eventually damage that system too, but it's gonna have to be one thing at a time. All right, is this a super weapon? Can't quite tell. Ooh. Yeah, let's get... That's the super weapon, okay, right. 
It comes out of all sides. All right, got it, got it, got it. All right. 108 evasion. Suck it. All right, ooh. Uh, we actually need to shut those doors. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Mantisus. That was really mean of me. I was I was strangling you for no reason. Why? Uh, RTM, you're not one of mine, are you? You're a bad guy. Oh, they keep sending in more people. Okay. <laughs> it's I, I wish they had a different color uniforms. I can't tell the evil humans apart. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So now this thing's on fire. Uh, so it's pretty much... Okay, so all I really need to do now is brace for the super weapon. But I think the super weapon happens more often than the cloak cooldown. And the cloak cooldown is kind of a fixed value, right? Like, there's nothing you can do in the game that'll make the cloak come back faster. Um, Mantis buddies, how about you go, like, go say hi to that guy, since you're not doing anything else. I think two mantises against one human. I like. I kind of like those odds. All right. I guess we could also trash one of his other weapons. Stacked. I got a lot of really lucky scrap events, I guess. Or actually, I think the biggest difference I made is that I started maximizing the encounters versus avoiding them. Because if you remember my first two runs of this game, I was trying to like cut a straight line to the exit so that I would save my hull points. But that really bites you in the butt later because then you're under leveled. Ooh, so much fire. I, I, I didn't even buy fire weapons. I saw a fire beam and a fire bomb and I was so sad that I couldn't buy them. But I'm still getting fire. Like the best of both worlds. Okay, but um, yeah, Artyom, I enjoyed you in the Metro games, but I'm gonna have to cut out your spine. Ooh, did you just get combat skill? You get you guys still didn't repair the med bay after all that. Okay. Um, all right. Whoa! Did they send over everyone but their pilot? Well, let's 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 have no more mind control. That's really irritating. Okay. Now they can repair it because the pilot can reach. Oh, but the pilot is locked in. The pilot is locked in. <laughs> You'd like to go repair that mind control, wouldn't you? Miss, 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 miss. Ho, ho, ho. All right. Uh, uh, Mr. Ohm, you've got six hit points and you're on fire. Um, okay. I, I get it now. I get it. I get it. I get it. This is... Oh, he's gonna... He's gonna freaking burn to death. Uh, hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to set you on fire. I was trying to hit you with lasers. I wasn't trying to hit you with fires. It appears that this ship is also equipped with an advanced AI system. Now that the crew is dead, it has taken control. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> um, hmm. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, it's still a ship, right? Uh. Let's see here. Well, we're not mind controlling anymore, are we? I mean, what's the worst it could do besides just kill me? Uh, is the where's the AI stored? Is it in the helm? Yes. Uh, so it's it is kind of like a berserk mode, but if it's only got two hit points left, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Oof. Thanks to the valiant effort of the Kestrel and her successful crew, Yaz, Lijun, Mort, Bjorn, Mikhail, Lysander, and Emma, the Rebels' flagship was destroyed, throwing their fleet into chaos and ensuring a Federation victory. Wow. That's all the cutscene I get. I want FMV. 
Yay! <laughs> well, thank you for all the wisdom. I definitely would not have made it anywhere near that close. This game's got a lot of very unique mechanics. And there's definitely not little tutorial pop-ups along the way, are there? <laughs> Story is an oracle. Yes, it is. This is the first first flagship win. I don't know if, if it counts on Babby mode, but... <laughs> FMV of some pixelated dude spinning through space. Yes! Uh, yes, Durka, what's your idea? With the right luck. Yeah, I mean, the, the flagship, I feel like the flagship is so unlike everything that comes before it that you really have to just kind of treat it like its own thing. And um, you have to kind of like obey its dance. It's kind of like a Warcraft boss where you anticipate its next little jerk move and then do the exact correct counter for it. Would you like to partake in a friendly competition? Uh, Durka, I will answer that after you give me more details. Uh, Kojo, I think Link should be just fine. Give it a try. Chivo race? Oh, God. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> of course, there's, there's a raccoon here for that whole win. I think my favorite part was the flames. Uh, we very slowly race to unlock all ships and types. Uh, if it's arbitrarily slowly, sure. Yes. Um, I, and I say that, and I have absolutely no idea what it in, what is entailed by any of that. I don't know how to unlock ships. I guess I unlocked the Federation cruiser. Ooh, this is a lot of... Is this Kickstarter backers, or is this all friends and family? I feel like I deserve to endure the entire alphabet. Uh, unlock details are explained in the ship. Oh, like, so when you're picking your ship at the hangar, you can do it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Kojo, are you picking up Durka's vocabulary? FTL full unlock or getting over uh, resets is the worst deal. Um, yeah, that's a false dichotomy. I think those are those are both awful. <laughs> but yeah, um, at a leisurely pace, sure. I guess. Let's see, what's the average? What's the average runtime on these? The way I play, it seems to be about three hours. Maybe that's average. That's actually very close to uh, renowned explorers run. Now that I think about it. That's strange. Wait, is, is Renowned Explorers trying to be FTL? I'm suddenly having this weird epiphany. Because you hop from node to node and prepare for a super strong boss. Getting over his mental progress, is it? Uh, my mental resources are very, are very weak. Oh, you got... Oh, I see. Because you were looking for a new FTL. Ah, uh, I gotcha, gotcha. But FTL does not let you clothesline people with parasols. <laughs> yeah, I can totally see how the, the different ship layout would totally change things. Like, um So Durka's taken off. Okay, Durka, thanks so much for stopping by, and I'm glad you were I'm glad you're here cheering me on. I think it was your dominance that was infusing my keyboard and mouse. <laughs> or laugh monkeys into a confused sadness, yep. <laughs> I'm trying to picture this moment where like by by a stroke of luck Durka and I end up in the same nursing home in 50 years and we're like down to the last ship and swinging our canes at each other <laughs> like god damn it I got the last slug ship <laughs> crushed <laughs> you watch that sicko. Yeah. I think Biosonic would have to be there too. I'm gonna have to make sure that I link him that victory clip. 
he was really blowing smoke up my butt when he bid on this game. He's saying, oh, people say FTL's hard, but you're spud, so you're just going to crush it. And it took many, many, many hours to crush it. Yes, Sirka, you were allowed one question. Am I younger or older than Vio? Uh, probably older. I guess I don't know how old he is. My age starts with a three. Uh, older than. Yep. You've defeated the Rebel flagship and ensured the victory of the Federation. Stats. Oh, wow. So... The flagship victory doesn't actually add that many points, because this was my near miss last time, 3,800. But I guess I did a little bit better. This is... Oh, it's interesting. Oh, so most of your points come from the scrap. You're, you're emotionally 60. I'm actually an antediluvian wraith that's been animated for all eternity to crush video games. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Raybound waiting in the shadows just to slip that in. <laughs> uh, I think modern life turns everybody into a 60 year old pretty quickly. <laughs> and Athaboras is 10,000. Mm -hmm. Well, you all can brag about your fancy ships, but I think the Kestrel's got some can do spirit. Actually, I got really lucky with the with the free crew. I think if you're spending money on crew, that really slows you down a lot. So let's just take a quick look at the hangar. I definitely can't embark again, but... Uh, so you need a you need a checklist of different achievements to get the next thingy. Okay. Uh, ship list. Oh, here we go. All right. NG Federation. Bolton. Uh, defeat the flagship with any layout of the Zoltan to unlock the mant. Oh, you can be mantises. Huh. Okay, so they do give you some cryptic clues, at least. Remantises, slugs, rocks, or stealth. Fascinating. Okay. Kestrel's a good one. The Zoltanite. Yeah, I think I had a Zoltan crew member once, and he was driving me batty because I couldn't quite tell what happens to his system when he leaves it. Like, what happens to the system power. Ship relies on drones and ion weaponry. Oh, I see. So you drop their shields and then just ravage them. Although the drones are tricky because they hit they hit random rooms, right? They don't hit the room that you aim them at. Advanced beam weapon. Oh, and then the little dots right down there are like easy, medium, hard. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can sort of see how folks have like, you know, a thousand plus hours in this game. Oh, that's a lot of rooms. I can see some really bad places to have a fire start. Taurus. Oh, this one's really compact, I guess. Huh. It's the Adjudicator. These are all Zoltans. So if you start out with three Zoltans, I suppose you can save a lot of power, right? Mm. But they're not very good in close combat. Or... Yeah, that's my nightmare, is like... You have like one surviving rock who has to go... Uh, repair his own oxygen, but he can't quite make it to the room. <laughs> and the mantises, like, even though they're not good at repairing, they're pretty good at um, moving around. Cool, cool, cool. 
All right. The Zoltan bombing is fun, but... So, bombs, they use... The bomb weapons, they use up one explosive, but are they guaranteed to appear, or can they... Are they also subject to the enemy's evasion? Because um, I was going to buy some of those, but... It seems really risky if you're spending explosives and then getting misses. Oh, the original plus are not up. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, but you have a cloning bay. Oh. Oh, so they're like kamikaze. Oh, wow. That seems like a wild strategy. Now, if you keep cloning them, don't they... Do they lose experience points? Is that what the cloning bay description said? That's a better way of putting it, yeah. Okay, yeah, there's definitely a lot to try. Um, it seems like a big part of the game is rolling with what falls in your lap. Like, if you find a, a random weapon, it's probably best to make that work because it was free, and then you can you don't have to spend scrap on it. Cool, cool. All right, well, uh, it is getting a time around here, so we will start our wind-down sequence on a high note. And... Uh, maybe in honor of Durka Monster's wise guidance, we will go uh, visit his channel. Uh, if you're not familiar with him, he's <laughs> pretty amazing. Um, and then I should be back here on Thursday in the theme of subset. Uh, Thursday is Into the Breach, thanks to my kind viewers. <laughs> Uh, new game next week. Yes, story. Uh, might be. Um, I, was, I was thinking, I was debating about what to do with Tuesdays. I don't know if I want to auction it or work on my own backlog. I was um, uh, I was looking over my backlog and I made almost zero progress this year because I received so many gift games. Um, we'll see. I, I'm going to, I'll consider Durka's race, but that's going to happen over several decades. <laughs> Uh, but we will be back here on Thursday with Into the Breach, so anyone who likes subset games and the musical stylings of Ben Fenty should be on over. W-I-N-N. <laughs> Kojo! Wow, oh, thank you for that extremely generous cheer. That is that is very kind, Kojo. I appreciate your, uh, your wisdom and your support. And we hope to see you all back here very soon. And I hope everybody has a super week. <laughs> And thank you for the emotes. Appreciate it. And